the devastating impact of drought on our people, communities, economy, and environment is a focus of my administration and your government is working to reduce the impact on the nation. This includes the emergency funding of $150 million for the trucking of water and procurement and distribution of a limited amount of water tanks. Most of this will go towards the trucking of water. We will keep a small reserve where we see we need to have emergency procurement of water tanks. We assess that there are 50 constituencies that are impacted. For those 50 constituencies, they will get 1.5 million for trucking. For Clarendon, we will give Clarendon Southwest, Southeast, Central, Northwest, North Central, North, an additional $2.5 million. And the municipal corporation will get $5 million. So in St. Elizabeth, St. Elizabeth Northeast, St. Elizabeth Northwest, St. Elizabeth Southeast, St. Elizabeth Southwest, those constituencies will be allocated an additional $2.5 million, and the municipal corporation will get $5 million. West Berlin Central, West Berlin East, West Berlin West, those constituencies will get 2.5 additional and the municipal corporation will get $5 million. And over East and over West, save 2.5 million additional, but we will give the municipal corporation $7.5 million, specifically to assist within the Negril area where the issues there are significant. Center Northwest will get 2.5 million and the municipal corporation will get 7.5 million. So we will have reserve of 5 million. And that reserve we will use to treat with the 13 constituencies that are not given an allocation. But if an emergency were to arise or the member of parliament is able to point out that there is a specific community that needs some service, then from that five million, we would be able to respond over the next four weeks. I want to say that $150 million is not enough. It cannot solve the problem entirely. However, it is what we are able to do right now, and it is for a short period of time as we expect that we will get rainfall starting the end of April into May. So for the, we are really making this as a budgetary arrangement for the next four weeks. I wish to assure the citizens of West Berlin and Hanover, particularly Negril and Environs, that we will continue beyond this allocation if, as projected, dry conditions persist into the summer. During this period, the NWC made a 30, we, we provided for the NWC $30 million to support the trucking and provision of water to the residents of Brownstone. I also wish to note that the parishes of St. Elizabeth and Clarendon have also received additional support from the government as they have been affected. And Mr. Speaker, these measures should not be contemplated as the sole response based upon portable water. The Ministry of Local Government is giving support to several communities. Uh, in fact, they have allocated $100 million for trucking and indeed the parish councils themselves uh, giving support for trucking to communities that have been affected. A number of farming communities have benefited. The Ministry of Agriculture and a team from RADA have made significant effort in supporting several communities in Clarendon, St. Elizabeth, Manchester, and Trelawney. Uh, these are the parishes that have been most affected by drought conditions, agricultural drought conditions. The Ministry of Agriculture has a now well-established system of mitigating drought and uh, they have started the trucking of water to the parishes of St. Elizabeth and Manchester through the Rural Agricultural Development Authority. And uh, they have also started to 
provide more water supply through the National Irrigation Commission. And during the period January to March 2024, over 9 million gallons of water have been trucked to approximately 900 farmers to alleviate the impact of the dry spell. The ministry has also distributed 9,000 square meters of pond liners with 45 recipients benefiting from that. These farmers are now able to better harvest their crops and use the limited and intermittent rainfall that they have received. The NIC has also distributed 44 650 gallon tanks, 14 1,000 gallon tanks, and 400 12 millimeter reels of drip hoses. So that's significant assistance to our farmers in this time of great need in the drought. I have instructed the Minister of Agriculture to ramp up the program as we enter into the heights of our dry season. And the ministry has earmarked $60 million to treat with the trucking of water, provision of additional drip irrigation support, uh, and other support for our livestock farmers. Drought is a complex and multifaceted challenge that requires a coordinated and sustained response from all levels of the government, the private sector, and the community at large. By working together with understanding, empathy, foresight, and determination, we can overcome this crisis and build a brighter, more resilient future where all Jamaicans can have access to potable water in a convenient manner.